Caribbean, the show that gives you a taste of the islands. Today we journey to the beautiful island of Trinidad, known for its carnival, vibrant culture, friendly people and lush tropical rainforests. Trinidad lies at the furthermost point of the Caribbean. It's approximately 11 miles off the coast of Venezuela. It's a very cosmopolitan island due to its colorful past. Aside from its native Amerindian background, it has been influenced by the French, Spanish, Portuguese, British, African and Asian cultures. This fantastic fusion of cultures is not only evident in its population, but crosses over into the everyday cuisine of the island. In 1869, when East Indian workers were finally allowed to own land, they began settling throughout the island. They created new villages, built places for worship, and introduced East Indian music, dance, and food throughout the country. St. James was no exception to this, and many streets are named after Indian cities. Streets like Bombay, Calcutta, and Madras all bear testament to the East Indian heritage of St. James. One of the finest mandirs in the country can be found in St. James. And there are a number of roti shops and vendors selling dosti and dalpuri roti day and night. Dosti roti is one of the easiest rotis to prepare. Flour, water and salt are combined to make smooth dough. It is then rolled into balls and left to sit a while. Two small balls are joined together and needed to form one ball. The balls of dough are then pressed, rolled into a circular shape and stretched. When the desired size has been obtained, it is placed on a hot towel, a type of flat grill. The roti skin is lightly oiled and flipped occasionally. Because it is so thin, both rotis are quickly cooked at the same time. The hot roti is served with curried potato and curry chicken. It is wrapped and served as a tasty meal on the go. Another kind of roti available in St. James is dalpuri. It consists of a single roti filled with grinded split peas. It is cooked in the same manner as a dosti roti.
With such an urban atmosphere, it is hard to imagine that this was once a quiet rural village on the outskirts of Port of Spain. Today, the Jose Festival that commemorates the death of Prophet Muhammad's grandsons is still celebrated annually in St. James with much enthusiasm. For a quick, healthy meal after a hectic night, corn soup is always a good choice. Made with fresh, seasoned corn, a good corn soup is absolutely delicious. A fine selection of corn is purchased on the highway, where many farmers make their daily sales. Corn can be both cleaned or in their skins. However, in this case, our soup vendors and most soup vendors prefer to buy their corn and peel them for themselves. A sack of corn is purchased. This will be used to produce a night sale in the city. The preparation of corn soup is relatively simple. A large pot is filled midway with water and put to boil. Split peas or weed. Selected quantity is washed and put to boil for half an hour. The corn is then husked by removing its ends and peeling off the skin. is then cut into slices. They are washed and set aside. The pimento peppers are cleaned and halved. Side is cleaned. Salary is cleaned. The previously cleaned fresh herbs and the seasonings are grinded in a traditional mill where they are finely minced. Coconuts are hard, are then cleaned and grated.
The grated coconut is then mixed in water. This coconut milk is poured into the split pea soup. And by squeezing it, the coconut milk is extracted. The sliced corn cups are now added. Flour is needed to make a smooth dough. It is rolled out and cut into lengths. A couple lengths are held together and quickly diced into cubes. After the dumplings are added, the soup is left to boil for 20 minutes. Sounds is a very unusual meal that incorporates the rarely used parts of the pig, such as its feet. It is nevertheless a great tasting dish that is sometimes used as an appetizer and has earned its place as a delicious liming and partying dish. To see how sauce is prepared, let's visit Paramin. Paramin is mainly a farming village and most people rear their own livestock. What makes Paramin famous is its seasonings. The mountain climate makes it ideal for growing a variety of seasoning, some of which are exported worldwide. It therefore comes to no surprise that Paramin should have an exceptional sauce. Sauce can be bought on many street corners or bars. Most Trinidadians have a delicious cup of sauce before heading off to their favorite liming spot. Sauce is an appetizer that is very easy to make. First, the pig's feet must be thoroughly washed and cleaned in running water, and then in lime juice. The pig's feet are put to boil for 20 minutes, until it becomes very soft and its tendons clear and gelatinous. No seasonings are added while it's being boiled. A 
spicy cucumber sauce is prepared. Sliced cucumbers are placed in a small quantity of salt and water. Freshly grated garlic is added. The cooked pig's feet is added to the cucumber sauce with stock and stirred to ensure a thorough mixture of flavors. Many people on the island love spicy food and most of our meals tend to be. However, if you're looking for something extra spicy to satisfy your palate, then the meal for you is jeera pork. Jira pork is a great accompaniment with any meal and can also be eaten on its own as a most mouth-watering hors d'oeuvre. The pork is cut into legs and then into cubes. Fresh cut seasonings are added. Salt is added. The ingredients are mixed together for an even distribution of flavor. A pot is started. Oil is added and left to get hot. Dry jeera seeds are deep fried with garlic until it becomes dark. The pork is added and quickly turned about. The pork is left to simmer for 20 minutes. Jira pork is a favorite amongst party goers. It is served to piping hot with a local rum called the hot spring. Yeah. 